Well, as we know, New South Wales is voting today to decide who will govern the state for the next four years. The Liberals are attempting to sandbank, sandbag rather the seat of Goulburn in the state's south. Our reporters Trudy McIntosh and Lucy Gray join us live now. Firstly, Trudy, let's start with you. What are Labor's chances, do you think, there in Goulburn? What's the mood on the ground? Well, Ash, the rain is largely holding off and the voters are still trickling in here at the Goulburn Scout Hall. But for Labor, they are hoping to end a 60-year drought in this regional seat. The Liberals have held this since 1965. It's a long time, but the demographics are shifting, particularly here in the centre of the electorate of Goulburn. We also saw a redistribution since the 2019 election. It's got smaller in size. It took out a part to the northwest uh, near Burrawa, and that that is in fact where the incumbent MP Wendy Tuckerman is from. She's been in since 2019. She's a uh, junior minister in the Perrottet government. She is hoping that she can uh, maintain the confidence of this regional electorate and hold off the challenge we're seeing by labouring uh, Labour challenger Michael Pilbro. He's been in the uh, international development area for nearly two decades. He ran against Angus Taylor, interestingly enough, back in 2013, failed to win that federal seat, and he's now trying his hand at state politics. I've been speaking to the voters here, seeing what are the big issues that they face heading into polling day. Uh, I'd like to see a bit of action on the Targo incinerator. Uh, I think that's a fairly big issue around the area, and um, yeah, we're still not seeing any commitment one or the other on it. So, have you heard anything from either major party on that? Would that have swayed, you, swayed your vote? Um, I think if there's more clarity, yeah, there probably would be a bit more swaying there mm. between myself and others as well. Uh, it's still a bit of an unknown. There's a lot of processes they've got to go through, but yeah, it's something that we need to think about. What's the big issue for you? I still think it's uh, cost of living for everyday people. Yeah, the big programs don't get to the country. It's mainly the price of living um, and uh, better for the nurses and everything. A little change would be good. Do you think um, Wendy Tuckerman's been a good local MP? I presume you're from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She I think certainly she's has. Really good. Especially yeah. with the Performance Art Centre and things like that. She's yeah. really gotten behind local issues. Yeah. So. Do you think if there would be a change and there's a Labor MP in this seat, would that make a big difference? You'd still get a... a well, what you... Usually it's been Liberal seat, so I don't see that happening. But, you know, change is always a good thing, so... The path to power for Chris Minns lies in flipping at least 10 coalition-held seats. The seat of Goulburn is certainly within that target band. They are hoping, Ash, to flip this seat and not only do that, but also flip the nine others they need and therefore not need to rely on the crossbench if we see that later tonight in the, in the event of a minority parliament.